So basically this is my solar heated bottle. Uh, the main component is this solar vacuum tube and I'll explain how that works in a little bit. Then I've got two 3D printed components and this wooden handle because I thought it looked cool. And yeah, it definitely works. I tested it a bunch and I uh, just filled this thing up with water. It's already starting to get a little bit warm. It's a nice sunny day out today, which is important. Uh, I hope I can get this water boiling today and make a cup of tea, but you never know. It's still a bit cold out, it's the beginning of spring, so let's hope we can get some water boiling. didn't quite get it boiling, uh, the highest temperature I saw was like 75 degrees, but you know, good enough for me. So yeah, the title of this video is definitely not a lie. This flask does get warmer the longer you leave it out in the sun. And the component that basically makes it work is this. This centerpiece right here is called a solar vacuum tube. And I'll have a link in the description where you can buy these. And the way that the solar vacuum tube works is actually kind of interesting. I've got a little diagram here to show you how it works. So. To think of this solar vacuum tube, you should actually think of it as two tubes. The inner tube, this piece right here, and the outer tube. They are connected at the end right here, but it's easier to think of them as two tubes. The inner tube is coated in a very much a light absorbing material, whilst the outer tube is completely transparent. And you can see it a little bit here, right? So the outer tube is completely transparent and the inner tube is coated. The secret is in the name basically, it's a vacuum tube. So the space in between here is filled or rather not filled with a vacuum. So there's no molecules here. So on the outside, there's a bunch of molecules. On the inside here, there are none. And what that basically means is that any heat that is absorbed into this layer is trapped because there's no molecules that can transfer the heat outside. So nearly all of the heat stays in. And this is the same principle as basically a thermos can or a Stanley cup, right? Because they, they use a vacuum to very highly insulate the, to keep the heat in. And these things can get up to like 99% efficient. That's really good. But if you leave your Stanley cup out, it's not gonna get warmer. And a solar vacuum tube does. And that's the second part of the name. It's a solar vacuum tube. So it absorbs solar energy. So this line right here represents the energy that comes from the sun. And as you can see, most of it passes straight through the first layer because it's clear glass, doesn't pose a lot of resistance. It doesn't absorb much of the energy. So most of that energy goes straight through and then it hits the inner layer or the inner tube. And the inner tube is coated with a very dark material. Um, it's kind of bluish right here. It would be better if it would be completely black, obviously, but the reason why they don't paint it black is because heat, 
right? So the inner tube gets really, really hot, upwards of 200, 300 degrees Celsius. Uh, and most pains would start, you know, producing, start de deteriorating or outgassing. And then, you know, if they decompose and this vacuum fills up with organic compounds, it doesn't really work anymore. So that's why they use a metallic compound to coat the inside so that it doesn't produce any gases. Um, but, you know, you lose some efficiency because as you can see, it's kind of reflective. So some sunlight leaves and that's what I've got in this diagram as well. So most of the energy is absorbed by the inner tube. The heat goes into whatever you've got inside here, you know, water, tea, coffee or sand. You know, that's a project I'm working on as well. It's like um, making a, a home battery uh, or basically a sand battery storing the heat in these tubes. But that's another project. But most energy is absorbed. Obviously, some is reflected, as you can see. But uh, a lot of the energy also uh, is reflected black. So you basically get a very strong greenhouse. And there are no molecules in, in the vacuum to, dis the, to discharge energy to. So all of that energy bounces around and eventually most of it is absorbed into the inner tube. And I, these things are wildly efficient, right? They can get up to 60 to 80% efficiency. So 60 to 80% of solar energy that is, you know, that hits this, this tube is absorbed. That's crazy, right? Like most solar panels only get up to like 30% efficiency. So these things on the low end are twice as efficient and they can get up to, as I said, like 80% efficient, which is crazy. So they're really cool. And, um, when you leave them out, they'll get only get warmer. I'll have a link in the description where you can buy the tube. I'll also have a link to the three printed components because it's actually really simple. I've got a bottom and a top, and then this piece is wood. Um, you could also print that, uh, but I decided to make it out of wood because it was quicker and I had some laying around. But you can download those, so make sure to check that out and subscribe for the next videos.